In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve five business-related percentage word problems. Let's begin with question number one. An employee accepted an 8% raise on their salary of $55,000. How much was the raise? Now to answer this question and all of the questions that follow, we'll be using this formula where we have the base times the rate is equal to the portion the variable r, which represents rate, is always associated with the percentage given in the question. So in this particular example, we're told that the employee is accepting an 8% raise. So we need to set that as r and convert it into a decimal or a fraction. So r is equal to 8%, and to convert this into a decimal or a fraction, we divide by 100%. You cannot use the percentage in its raw form. Now if we divide this out, we end up getting 0 0.08. Now their base salary is 55000 That's what we're starting with. And the raise is an 8% portion of 55000 So if we set B as 55000 and substitute these values into that formula, we can find out the portion which represents the raise. So taking 55,000 and multiplying it to 0 0.08, that gives us P, 55,000 multiplied to 0 0.08 gives us 4,400 as our portion. Now in solving these problems, it's always appropriate to end with a therefore statement. And it can go something like this. Therefore, the employee will get a raise of $4,400, which represents 8% of $55,000. Question number two asks, a loan shark collects a fee of 25.5% from any amount borrowed. Recently, he collected a fee of $2,040. What was the amount borrowed? So again, to answer this question, we'll be using the formula B times R is equal to P. And this particular person is charging 25.5%. So that needs to be made into a decimal or a fraction. It's up to you. And we can do that by dividing it by 100%. Now, if you divide 25.5 by 100%, you will get 0 0.255. And you can verify that on your calculator. So we have found the value for R, which is always in relation to the percent. It's 0 0.255. Now we're told that he recently collected a fee of 2040. That's a portion of an amount that we don't know. The amount that we don't know is the amount that was borrowed. So a percentage of an amount that we don't know amounts to 2040. And so this number represents our portion. Our base value is the initial amount borrowed. So we have this equation, which we can easily solve. We can divide both sides of this equation by 0 0.255. And this will isolate B. So canceling that out, we end up with our base value, the amount that was borrowed, being 8,000. So if you borrow $8,000 at a rate of 25.5%, expect a fee of 2040. Question number three asks, an employee received a raise of 3,600 to their annual salary. If their annual salary was 45,000, what was the percentage increase to their salary? Now, normally when you're doing business related word problems involving percent, you have to determine if it's a percent change problem or a basic percent problem as we're doing in this tutorial. And usually you look for words like percent increase, decrease. While this question has those words, it's not necessarily asking for the percent change. What it's asking for is the percent of the original salary that will lead to a raise of 3,600. So it is R that we're looking for here. And we have to determine which of these two numbers, if we're using the formula BR is equal to P, we have to determine which of these two represents B and P, because R is what we're looking for. And if we have a percentage of 
their original salary, and their original salary happens to be 45,000, the 45,000 represents the base value. That gets multiplied to R, and by deductive reasoning, we can say that the portion is 3,600. That is, P is 3,600. So we're looking for a percentage of the salary, which is 45,000, that will give us a raise of 3,600. Now we have to solve for R, and we can do that the same way we did in the previous example, where we divide both sides, and in this case, by 45,000. And what this will do is it will cancel out the 45,000s on the left side, and using our calculator, we get 3,600 divided by 45,000. And my calculator gives me 2 over 25. Some calculators will give 0 0.08. And don't be fooled to think that that's your percentage. Remember, this has to be multiplied by 100% to make it into a percentage. And if we do that, we end up with an 8% raise on their original salary. Question number four asks, Centennial Paper Company has 1,200 employees. It decides to increase the amount of employees by 20%. How many new employees were hired? So the base value here, what we're starting off with is 1,200. And the company is increasing the amount of employees by 20%. So we need to find, the question is asking how many new employees were hired, not the total number of employees after the hiring. So to find out the portion of 1,200, that is 20%, again, we use the formula, BR is equal to P, our base value is 1,200, our rate is 20%, which needs to be made into a decimal by dividing by 100%. That's 0 0.2. And if we multiply this out, we find the portion that represents the new employees. So multiplying these two factors, we end up with a p-value that is 240. And specifically, in relation to this question, that is 240 new employees. Remember to always provide a therefore statement. I'm doing it verbally, so I don't need to write it down for you. Finally, in question number five, a bicycle is on sale for 20% off. This is a discount of 44 off the original price. What was the original price? So this 44 represents the discount. That's the portion of the unknown original price that is 20%. Because we don't know the original price, or the base value, we'll leave it as B. Our rate, given that it's 20%, is 0 0.2. And 20% of the original gives us 44. That's your portion. Dividing both sides by 0 0.2 will give us the original cost of the bike. So. Calculating, 44 divided by 0 0.2 gives us 220. So if your bike is $220 and they're discounting 20%, that means that it is now $44 less. So this represents the discount. And if you want the final price, which it's not asking here, you would subtract 44 from 220, and that would be your final price. I hope these questions made sense to you. If you have any further questions or have questions of your own, feel free to use the comment section of this video and I'll gladly help. Talk to you all later.